The latest Block 5 Virginia-class submarine will greatly increase the number of missiles which can be carried. The 10 boats will manage to accommodate 28 more torpedo-sized weapons along with the previous payload of 37. Viewers may note that the U.S. Navy is acquiring 10 Virginia Block 5 submarines for approximately $24.1 billion. The Virginia class is built through an industrial arrangement designed to maintain both General Dynamics' electric boat and Huntington Ingalls' Newport News, the only two U.S. shipyards capable of building nuclear-powered submarines. The facilities alternate work on the reactor plant as well as the final assembly, test, outfit, and delivery. Out of ten, Six of the boats would be constructed at Huntington Ingalls Newport News and four would be built at Electric Boat. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Block 5 Virginia-class submarines of the U.S. Navy will have 75% more firepower. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support, so grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Virginia-class submarines, referred to as the SSN-774 class, is a class of nuclear-powered, fast-attack submarines in service with the United States Navy. Virginia class is designed to replace older Los Angeles class submarines, many of which have already been decommissioned. Virginia class was intended in part as a less expensive alternative to the Seawolf class submarines whose production run was stopped after just three boats had been completed. The submarines of Virginia class are designed for a broad spectrum of open ocean and littoral missions. Their primary purpose is to take out enemy surface combatants and submarines, and the secondary task is to execute land attack missions. Over the years, the Virginia class has gone through several upgrades. Block 2 variant focused mainly on production efficiency. Block 3 used improved construction techniques and also got the conformal main sonar array in place of the traditional spherical array found on earlier U.S. Navy submarines. Block 4 submarines, many of which are still under construction, essentially focused on reducing cost. All these variants were essentially the same externally, but this changes with Block 5. Block 5 will see many upgrades, the most important of which is the addition of four Virginia Payload Module, or VPM. An 85-foot or 25-meter section will be added for this. The addition of the section is expected to increase the length from 377 feet to 460 feet, and displacement from around 7,800 tons to 10,200 tons. Each of these four VPM will be capable of carrying seven torpedo-sized weapons like Tomahawk missiles. So each submarine will have an additional capacity of 28 torpedo-sized weapons. New Virginias will get a capability boost 
with the introduction of Block 5 Tomahawks. As of now, Block 5 Tomahawks will have two variants, 5A and 5B. The Block 5A variants will be called Maritime Strike. It will have a new seeker capable of hitting a moving target, so it could be used to target a rival's surface combatants. The target information in the variant could be updated in flight. The warhead will be geared towards destroying enemy warships. Block 5B will feature the JMEWS, or Joint Multi Effects Warhead System. The new warhead was first announced in 2010 and tested in 2014. It's a two stage warhead that combines blast fragmentation and enhanced penetration in one warhead. It will be able to destroy a wide variety of targets, soft targets like parked aircraft, as well as hardened ones like bunkers. The VPM will not only increase firepower but also flexibility. It's likely that going forward the VPMs will be used to accommodate hypersonic weapons too. One such endeavor is the conventional prompt strike or CPS. CPS is intended to complement existing American Rapid Response Forces such as forward deployed forces, air expeditionary groups which can deploy within 48 hours and carrier battle groups which can respond within 96 hours. It will be an alternative to nuclear weapons for strategic retaliatory strikes for around 30% of targets. CPS is primarily designed to deploy aboard U.S. Navy submarines and the Block 5 Virginia class could be the first one to be armed with this weapon. In 1994, the Nuclear Posture Review study determined that 14 of the 18 Ohio SSBNs of the U.S. Navy would be sufficient for the strategic needs of nuclear deterrence. The decision was made to convert four Ohio-class boats into SSGNs capable of conducting a conventional land attack and special operations. As a result, the four oldest boats of the class, Ohio, Michigan, Florida, and Georgia, progressively entered the conversion process in late 2002 and were returned to active service by 2008. The boats could thereafter carry 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles and 65 special operations personnel, among other capabilities and upgrades. But these boats will have to be slowly decommissioned and the reduction in land attack capability will be taken care of by Block 5 Virginia-class submarines with VPM. So Block 5 Virginia-class will be a critical asset for the U.S. Navy as it faces resurgent Russia and the ever-growing Chinese Navy. Hence, 75% payload capacity improvement is a step in the right direction. 